how's it going? You see this tiny chip right here? Yeah, that's called an EMMC. This chip came out of a Nintendo Switch. It's no good anymore, but I want to show you guys how to reball it, just in case you ever want to reball your EMMC in the future. You could use this for the OLED switch if you're installing a mod chip or something along those lines. Let's go to the microscope and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, here's our EMMC chip. Now, I have already pulled this chip off of the little EMMC board that comes with the switch. Now, you may be wondering, Chase, how are we going to put brand new solder balls individually on all of these pads? Well, I'm going to tell you we're going to need a stencil and this stencil allows us to apply a paste called solder paste it's essentially microscopic solder ball suspended in flux across all of this and they will go into each individual hole here on the stencil then we can heat it up while the stencil is in place and then it will melt all the solder onto each individual pad now um, i went ahead and spun the chip around because we have to get it lined up with our stencil we gotta pick the correct one, which it looks like it's this one. We gotta line up the stencil with the solder pads on the chip itself. And as you can see, there we go. We have got them lined up. There are many ways that you can do this. Some people uh, will actually like tape the chip down. You can do that. Some people will use a paper towel underneath the chip. This is just the way that I do it um, because it just how I do it. Now I'm going to put that solder paste that I mentioned to you already down in the general area. We're going to go ahead and take a tool and spread that paste in. All right. So we're just spreading it into all of these holes here. You can see those tiny, tiny solder balls just suspended in flux. Now to clean up, I'm going to use a Q-tip just to wipe down the face of this because we got enough solder paste in here. Now I'm going to use a pair of tweezers to hold the stencil in place. I'll remove my fingers. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to use a nozzle and just kind of blow the heat around in this area because we're going to kind of preheat this area. So that solder will just flow nicely once we get these pads going. Then I like to move the hot air in one area on the stencil itself and bring it closer and closer. Now sometimes I think it might be just the stencil or it might be the solder paste that I'm using. Sometimes we get extra solder balls and the solder balls aren't all lined up properly. What I like to do is go ahead and just take a soldering iron and kind of rub it over all of the uh, holes here try to get those solder balls all aligned nicely and as you can see some of the holes didn't fully fill in with solder paste so what I'm going to do I'm going to put some more solder paste down in this area we'll go ahead and flow it again with our tool we'll go ahead and spread it on with our tool let's go ahead and clean it up with a q-tip I'm gonna put my tweezers right here in the center of the chip and bring our hot air up kind of close here just kind of get the area nice and warmed up. That's what we want. Because we want to approach this chip as slow as possible with the hot air. That's the way that seems to work best for me, at least with the stencil. It looks like we're getting ready to reflow here. Okay, perfect. With this stencil, I just want to kind of go really slow with it. Okay, we're going ahead and reflow all these balls. Perfect exactly what I wanted to see. All right, let's go ahead and clean this off with some isopropyl alcohol and a toothbrush. All right, now we revolved our EMMC. Let's go ahead and install it. Now, I have two EMMCs. One of them doesn't work and the other one does and I have no idea which one works and which one doesn't. So we're just gonna figure it out. All right, let's go ahead and use some leaded solder. We're gonna want to clear up all of these pads here. All right, let's grab some solder wick. We'll go ahead and wick up all these pads here. All right. Perfecto. Now we can go to use some isopropyl alcohol. Now clean up the pads of the Q-tip and isopropyl alcohol. Perfecto. Apply a little bit of flux to the board. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Put it in the general vicinity, roughly about the middle here. We're going to go ahead and grab our hot air. And with surface tension, this chip should go ahead and flow right into place. All right. Let me turn on this light here. Okay, did you see that? Did you see how it just flowed into place? And we can touch the chip and it will jiggle. That is that surface tension with that melted solder. We are good to go. Let's test this EMMC. Okay, so I did go ahead and test this EMMC and it turns out this is actually the bad chip that I had laying around. I didn't sort them out, so 
it is what it is. Um, but I do have the hardware reader where you can connect it directly to a computer and read and write to the chip, which is great. So yeah, that's how you reball an EMMC or really any chip uh, that requires BGA rework or reballing. If you enjoyed this content, you should totally subscribe.